the police found the world's most horrifying thing under my house. 26. That's how many bodies they found in the pit below my house. It was an earthquake that brought them to light. If not for that, I'm not sure I would have ever known they were down there. When the ground shifted, a putrid smell seeped up from below and permeated the entire house. Trying to locate the source, I shined my flashlight through the access hatch for the crawl space. That's when I saw an arm, a human arm, poking up through the dirt. Immediately, I called the police, and that's when my life turned into a circus. Nothing like this had ever happened in our small town before. And the media had a field day. Investigators started to identify some of the bodies. Local news outlets dubbed them the Alphabet Murders. Strangely, they appeared to have met their ends in alphabetical order. One per year spanning back 26 years, all women in their late teens and early 20s. Amanda Zeller was the last victim, Karen Abbott the first. Of course, my wife and I were the primary suspects. We'd been arrested and swabbed for DNA to test against forensic evidence they found under the house when the very first bodies were being unearthed. However, I knew they wouldn't find a trace of me or my wife down there. Neither of us had ever ventured below the house before, though I was sure they'd find a connection from me to who I knew to be the real killers. My parents, I had only inherited the house from my evil, abusive pricks for parents a few months prior. This was after they'd lost control of their vehicle and driven off a cliff. Good riddance was my first thought when I was informed of their deaths. I'd never been more than a punching bag for the both of them. Something to scream at, smack, and berate at home. Then parade out in front of the neighbors as some perfect little child. Yeah, some perfect little family we had it. It was all BS. They were a nightmare. So I ran away when I was 15 and never spoke with them again. Shockingly, though, they left me the house. I figured maybe it was a final screw you. To me, when I saw the state of disrepair, they left it in. At least it paid off. But it was going to need a lot of work if I was going to sell it for a good price. That's the only reason why I moved back in. And now I realize they weren't just assholes. They were sick, sadistic demons. Both of their DNA was all over Amanda Zeller. They'd done it all together. The most shocking part was, though, that when they tested my DNA against my parents, it showed I wasn't a familial match. I wasn't their son. We were baffled until they found an older grave, separate from the pit, that contained a young couple whose DNA did match mine, their first victims.